a cantar Hello everyone and canción. welcome to my channel. This is Providencia and I am here with a full tutorial. This is a Dominican breakfast. Um, I do have two videos on how to make this. I will link it below but I am going to make this a little extra, a little different. This is my boyfriend's recipe. His name is Roberto. He is Dominican. Um, so I'm gonna do it the way he does it for me because he has made this for me several times and it is really, really good. So I'm gonna insert like, um, some pictures and like some videos, not, not a lot, but just like a few clips of him doing it for me and stuff, but I'm not gonna post, like, I'm not gonna put everything because that, those clips are gonna go to like another blog. But I'm going to just show you like a picture of more or less how he like he did it for me. So I was like, I got to do this video, like this food video for my subscribers and stuff. So these are the ingredients. Um, and I'm also going to link my two below because it's more sim it's simple. I mean, even though this is simple, but yeah, um, I'm making mango which is like mashed plantains. I'm making bacon. I'm making, which is queso blanco. Um, some onions, some eggs, and some tomatoes with some cheese on top. It is so good. So these are the ingredients. It's very simple though. So I'm gonna go over this with you guys. This is oregano. But this is like ground oregano. These two bottles came from the Dominican Republic when I was um, over there. Um, his father works doing these type of like stuff and he sells them or whatever. So he gave me this, this and a product called Malague Malagueta, which I'm going to do a recipe on that one day on my channel. But if you have regular oregano, then just use the regular oregano, but this is pure Dominican <laughs> oregano, straight from over there. And the same thing for pepper. If you got ground pepper, you could use that as well. I also got um, some salt here, but if you want to use regular salt, you could. I'm using Himalayan pink salt. Um, I also have corn oil because we're going to fry the the cheese and the eggs with that I got some vinegar here make sure you use white vinegar um, I also got extra virgin olive oil I got some tomatoes here we're not gonna use all this we're only gonna probably use one because it's only me that's gonna eat it um, I got some eggs here we're gonna fry these he had made um, um, the picture I'm gonna insert he had boiled the eggs but I'm gonna fry mine um this is um oh my god i don't know how to like really say it the way they say it okay um i don't know if i'm saying it right but this is called queso hell hell i don't know how to say that. <laughs> i will try to write the, the 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 name down below the correct way but if you don't have this type of cheese because this you know this is also from the dominican republic as well um you could just probably use like some cheddar cheese on top if you don't if you can't find this you know so i'm just giving you another option this is queso blanco they usually sell this like in the spanish um supermarket it's like a fried cheese i also have bacon here um yesterday um we had bacon for breakfast so i reserved four slices to make this recipe you could also use like a fried cheese i mean a uh, fried salami with the other videos that i have that it will be linked below i did it that way but if you want to do it with with bacon you could also use bacon i'm gonna use bacon two platanos right there make sure it's green okay make sure it's green not turning yellow or like the sweeter ones because you want them nice and green like that and a red onion you you could use the white one but the red one is like traditional like you it is it tastes much better and it's i think you should use the red one so these are all the ingredients very very simple and let's go on 
with the recipe. Okay, so this is going to be a little tight long because I am going to show you this from start to finish. For that way, you can make it in your house. But anyway, um, we have a pot here. You could use any pot. Just make sure it's, it's according to how many plantains you're going to make. I'm only making two. So I'm going to use this. I am going to add some water. Okay. Um, and I am going to put this to a boil as I... As as um as I'm cutting the planting, make sure the 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 fire is very high. Okay, do not add no salt to this water. Okay, I will show you everything, so don't worry about it. Um, let me see. Yeah, this is good enough because once I put it in there, it's gonna float up anyway. So I am gonna put this here in my stove right let it come to a boil and then we are going to cut the plantings um when i was in dr um dominicans got a certain way of cutting their plantings which i really really love but that's not the way i do it they like just they do it real quick the way i do it is i cut the tip and that's how you're going to do it make sure you cut the tip and then i usually make three slits all right um okay all right as you can see three slits here and i'm gonna do the other one okay so after that what i like to do is you could do it yourself if it's if it's manageable for you to just peel it off which it is this one all right but if you have difficulties like peeling it off what you could do is put it in hot water for like a like a, like a few seconds, maybe like 30 seconds, and it will come off very easily. Because some plantains are easy to come off and like, you know, the, the, the skin and some is not. And little things like this, just cut it off, alright? Make sure it looks pretty and all that good stuff. Alright, so I got one and I'm going to do the other one. And that's how you do it. You like, you just like, with your knife, just try to do this, okay? Not all the way in, all right? But just to help out. Con mucho cariño de mi corazón A la República Dominicana This is how it looks. Okay, so since I'm doing my boyfriend's recipe, I'm going to cut it the way he cuts it. You could cut it any way you want as long as it's boiling. You could cut it into like big pieces or whatever, you know. But the way he did it, he cut it in half like this. And then he just cut it in half like so. Okay, like that. So you want to cut half and then cut that other half. Okay, and now from this point on, you don't want to add the plantains there right away. All right? He explained to me that he likes to put the plantains there when the water is already boiling. All right? Because it comes out more softer that way. You want to wait until like the water boils and then you're going to go and put the plantains there. Okay, I will let you know more or less how many minutes. So for now, I'm going to throw these stuff away and I'm going to go on to the next step. Okie dokie. So um, I have this here. Um, I like to personally um, bake, like put it in the oven, my bacon. I just think it comes out more crispier that way and more prettier that way. Uh, but if you want to do it in the pot, go ahead. It's your kitchen. So um, I'm going to do this now because bacon takes a little long to cook some in the oven. So I'm going to put this here in nice long slices. And I'm going to put it in the oven at 350. Just check your oven. Make sure that it's nice and, you know, however however you want your bacon. Because some people like their bacon really crispy. Some people just like it, you know regular or whatever and stuff like that so it's totally up to you so i'm gonna do this put it in the oven and i'm just gonna check up on it okay 
All right, so as you can see, that is boiling. So I am gonna add my plantains. Esta canción, con mucho and you wanna leave it boiling for like 20 to 25 minutes, okay? We're gonna check up on it. I got my bacon in the oven, and I'm gonna start like, like cutting everything up, and I'm gonna show you that next. Okay, so right now the first, the next thing you want to do is do your onions because you want to marinate this and it's going to have that nice vinegary taste. So you definitely need to do that while the plantains are, are boiling. Musica, musica, musica. And it's always best to cut them like a little, um, a little... How could I say a little thicker for that way it can really you could have your food tasting good I'm gonna show you more or less like maybe like this this is a little is a little retarded okay so let's try the next one something like this all right and I'm just gonna finish the rest Okay, so this is good enough because it's only me that's going to eat this. Um, so, yeah. Next, what you want to do is add some vinegar. And I'm sorry, there's a big bottle of vinegar. I know. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I was on a call. So, let's go back to this. Um, add like two little splashes of vinegar. About this much a lot of vinegar okay just trying to show you more or less all right I'm gonna put the top on this also you want to add some salt um, and salt to your liking you know remember you could always add salt towards the end to your plate all right I, I don't like to add a lot of salt in mine um and then you want to break it up a little bit just try to mix it up like a little bit like so all that vinegar could stay in there like all over the onions oops sorry <laughs> i don't like this onion it looks ugly all right so that's what you want to do make sure that it's all that vinegar in there and then you want to put this to the side. I'm sorry. You want to put this to the side. Okay. So this is how it looks. Put that to the side. And then you want to take your tomatoes. And um, I'm only going to use one small tomato. Because like I said, it's only me. And I'm going to use this one. And you could cut it whichever way you want, but I'm going to try to do it exactly how my boyfriend did it for me, or does it for me. So I'm going to cut it. I don't like, I don't like this part of the tomato. I know. It's weird. Um, cut them in slices. And then from there, cut them again just like this okay I'm gonna show it to you more closer let me just finish cutting the rest and this is how you want them but like I said you could do it according to however way you want it this is how I'm gonna do mine and we're gonna add just a little bit of vinegar, not like the way we did the onions. All right, just a little splash. Okay, that's good. And we're gonna add extra virgin olive oil, whichever one you have on hand. Nice drizzle. And then we're going to add 
pepper, oregano, and salt. I would suggest really to like try to get um, ground pepper, very nice and thin. I'm only going to add a little bit of this because this is like very pure and you know, I don't, you know, it's very strong from over there. So I'm just going to take like a pinch of that. And I'm going to take a pinch of pepper with my hands because I'm always cleaning my hands. All right. And I'm going to add salt to my liking. And then from there, I am going to mix this up. I'm sorry that the angle is not as good as I usually have the tripod. It's just that I'm using my other one because my other one is upstairs. And usually I will have everything like showing you, you know. All right. Now we're not going to add all this water in there. We're going to scoop it out and then stuff like that. I'm going to taste it a little bit. Mm, it tastes really, really good. So me, I'm going to add a little, little bit more salt. Other than that, I think it tastes really, really good. All right, so I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to taste it again. Mmm, perfect. So flavorful and yummy. Ugh. I'm going to put this to the side. Okay? And then, I'll tell you what to do okay, next. Okay, so we're going to also cut this. This is all in the process while those plantains are cooking. So, I'm going to open this up over there because it does come with like a little liquid. Um to preserve the cheese, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna do that here by the sink. Okay, so I decided to bring my other camera here with the, with the proper stand, so that way you could see a little better. So I'm gonna cut three slices, nice and fat. I just checked up on my bacon, it's almost where I want it. Um, you could do it as, I mean, I wanna say skinny, but, this is how you would want to cut them, like this type of slice. All right, so I'm going to put this back in here. I'll leave my cheese there nice and reserved. And um, I'm going to check on the mango next. Okay, so in the meantime, while we're waiting for that to boil for five minutes, I'm going to open this up. You want to cut a piece of this cheese. I already removed um, the paper. And you want to cut like a slice. Um, um, like if you was cutting an avocado. Okay. Okay, and then at this point you want to like remove all these little things with, like with a knife. Okay, that's the oven. The uh, bacon must be almost done. Alright, so I'm going to do that. Alright, so I'm going to use like a slice like this because this is, I'm going to shred it up and I'm going to use something like this. I bought this like at a dollar store. Alright, but if you don't have one of those, you could use one of these graters. Alright, just letting you know. Okay, so we got the cheese here, okay, but I wanted to mention that, um... The reason why it got this red like casing on it is because for this cheese can last a while, you know. So that's it's just like I guess to make it last a little longer. So I am gonna grate it. Okay, so all the cheese is here already. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna take out the plantain. It's been boiling for 25 minutes. So at this point, you wanna add maybe a half cup of, like a cup like this, of cold water. Make sure it's cold water. Do not put hot water, cold water. 
and then you want to add salt to your liking all right all right and just take like a spoon all right just to see if you like like the salt content <laughs> just to see if you like how if it's so you know salty enough for you okay i think that's good right there we're gonna let this come to a boil for like five more extra minutes and then i will show you what to do next okay so the plantains are good and done i have a bowl here let me take out the water i just washed it right here and i'm gonna remove all the plantains with this fork is that you could do this part you could either use it with a cup all right smashing it like this which is how my boyfriend did it you see it in the video all right you could do it with a fork all right like this mashing it up like this just trying to show you different ways um or you could use something like this. I bought this in DR when I was over there. So this will be the first time I'm trying it. So let's see how that goes. If not, I'm going to do it with the cup. Which this works really, really well. I forgot a plantain. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm going to add a little, little bit of this water that's in there. And I'm going to add a little bit of cold water as well. And I'm sorry to, to mention this now, but I forgot to tell you that you do need butter. So... Just keep mashing and just keep mashing away. I'm gonna add a little bit more hot water to this. And then I'm gonna add more cold water. So you just gotta keep adding cold and hot and keep mashing away. You gotta keep mashing until like everything is fully like mashed, all the planting. All right, so let me just taste it. This is how it looks so far, okay? But let me just taste it. Um, nice and creamy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Okay, it tastes really, really good. I'm gonna just put the main focus on this right now in this camera. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more butter. All right. And I'm going to add a little bit of more hot water again. Just a little bit. And a little bit of cold. Just try to do it little by little. The point is you want to have this a little bit like a little like soft because you are going to let it sit for a little while. And it you know you want this to be nice and soft by the time it's time to serve it because it could get a little hard but you don't want hard mango either you want this nice and soft okay nice and creamy oh, yeah. 
a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi Let me just show you what a spoon, more or less like the consistency that you're looking for. All right, so I'm hoping that you get to see this good. I'm gonna wipe it off. This is the consistency that you want. All right. Okay, this is what you're looking for. All right, so we're going to put this aside and we're going to fry our cheese and eggs next. And the bacon is already out of the oven um, and on top of the stove. And let's go and fry the next stuff and we'll be ready to plate all of this up. All right, so we're gonna start frying everything. I'm gonna do the eggs. that is nice see all right let me take out the eggs because I don't want it too like cooked waiting for my fried cheese to cook in the other side I'm gonna add my bacon which is nice and flat <laughs> but I like it like this all right that way y'all can see I'm gonna just add three for now for that way y'all can see the plating more better all right um, my cheese is almost finishing So this is how it looks so far, um, but for now, we're going to get rid of some of the oil from that pan that you just saw, like throw some out, <laughs> I'm going to do that right now, and then I am going to just leave a little bit in there, alright, so I threw some of that oil, put it very, very low, alright, put it low, okay, once you throw away that oil. Oh, 
Okay, so I want to put this in here for like like maybe two minutes so I'm gonna let this stay here for like two minutes okay so from this point you want to just turn it off remember like two minutes I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna move the candle to the other side all right so we're gonna put the onions and all that little juice in there, I want to put that right on top. Okay, that's a lot of onions, but I'll just leave that. And then just put a little bit of that juice on top. All right? And then you want to add some of that cheese that we just had. All right? That I just grated. You want to put that right on top for decoration. All right. And then you want to add the tomatoes. And you don't have to add all this liquid. You could just scoop it out, all right? All right. And just put some on the side. Look at all that juice from the tomatoes. Ugh. Can't wait to eat this. All right, let me just push it a little bit for you guys can see the mango actually, you know. And um, salt and pepper your your eggs if you want, just a little bit. And if you want to add a little bit pepper on your on your eggs, you can. Let me move this to the other side for you to get more lighting. Okay, so this is the finishing product right here from start to finish. You got the mango right here. Let me just focus on it. Look at all that juiciness going on. Nice and soft. The onions. The cheese. Some nice peppers. Not peppers. <laughs> so nice tomatoes um, the nice cheese queso blanco the bacon and I did added some slices of cheese because I love cheese <laughs> just to make it look pretty and the eggs all right so there's this is Roberto's recipe this is exactly how he did it for me. I'm going to insert a picture. But he did it with boiled eggs and he did it with salami. Um, so he gave me the recipe and I'm showing it to you guys. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please make it. It's really, really delicious with the onions on top. On top of the mango. The nice vinegary taste and the cheese. Everything. Oh. And while you're eating it, you could also add some of that nice shredded cheese on your mango for you could keep eating it like that. It's really, really good. So, I hope you guys enjoy and share this with all your friends. Do it for your Dominican friends. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. This is Dominican way. <laughs> ¿Verdad, mi amor? Estilo dominicano. Uh -huh. Si tú lo estás poniendo como agua fría y el agua del, de, del, de los plátanos, sí. para que se pone como más suave. Sí, ¿verdad? hablo en inglés. So he's making me mango right now and queso blanco, everything that works. He's such a good man, I'm telling you.
I'm not gonna have a man like that. I love you, my boy. He told me he's not boy. Oh, he comes to my defense all the time. I try to tell him he's a good man. He tells me, but you're a good woman. Un mango con queso geo guayado, um, salami, queso blanco y queso amarillo, huevos, mm -hmm. cebolla y tomates.